Love differentiates. Welcome to Daily Scriptures, where today we look at love in a different context. We will be looking at the Revised Standard Version, reading from 1 Corinthians 13, verses 1 to 13, with emphasis on verse 7, where it says, Love bears all things. 1 Corinthians 13, 1 to 13, Revised Standard Version. The gift of love. If I speak in tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. If I give away all I have, and if I deliver my body to be burned, but have not love, I gain nothing. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrong, but rejoices in the right. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Love never ends. As for prophecies, they will pass away. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will pass away. For our knowledge is imperfect, and our prophecy is imperfect. But when the perfect comes, the imperfect will pass away. When I was a child, I spoke like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I gave up childish ways. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall understand fully, even as I have been fully understood. So faith, hope, love abide, these three. But the greatest of these is love. God knows how to differentiate between sin and the sinner. He hates one but loves the other. A pastor tore into a young man who was returning from a night of drinking and debauchery. When the pastor had finished, the mother got up and without a word walked over and kissed the lips of her son. He broke down and was instantly changed. Afterwards, the man, telling of this turning point in his life, said he could stand the lashing, but he couldn't stand the kiss. Jesus is God's kiss of love placed upon the lips of the reprobate and the prodigal humanity. Please join me now in a time of meditation and prayer. O oh God, my Father, you astonish me with your love. Although I can't understand it, I can enjoy it. Thank you, Father. Amen.